Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install Live 11 while you guys have already had Ableton Live 10 or 11 beta version. So let's open the Ableton.com. Then choose account. And then choose your operating system. In this case, I'm using a MacBook Pro. And then click the download button. And then it will show on the right of your screen. It's downloading. And then we have to wait until it's done. But in this video, I'm going to skip it so that it doesn't take up too much time. Then when it's finished, the file will appear in your computer's download folder. Double click it and then it will install automatically. And now we we'll just have to wait. After it's finished, you're gonna need to drag the Ableton icon to your application folder. Then let's open it. And then you're gonna need to authorize it. Click this authorize ableton.com. And we are going to be directed to the official Ableton website. Press allow. But there's a little bit problem here. When we are trying to authorize our Ableton 11 official, turns out the authorization system will authorize our Ableton Live beta. So how do we solve this? First, let's open up the Clean My Mac and choose uninstaller. And the Ableton Live 11 beta is unregistered yet here. Let's back to the application folder. And we have to uninstall it manually from here. Just uninstall with Clean My Mac X. Now we are able to uninstall the beta version. Yes, so let's wait for a couple of seconds. Oh, I think we need to quit this first. until it's done already and then we're going to open up the Ableton Live 11 suite again and let's do the authorization And then after that, we are going to install all of the packs, all of the newest packs from Ableton Company. 
open your download folder and Ableton Live 11 suite and then just drag it on or you can double click it as well. And in this time, I'm going to skip it again because it's a huge file and it can take up around 20 gigabytes of your storage. And after that, choose OK. On the right side, you can see there's a manual guide for the newest sound packs. Actually, I haven't tried any of this, but voice box, it's sort of a vocal instrument. It turns out has a lot of packs here that we can explore later. And then wow, the upright piano by Spitfire Audio. If you guys are orchestral or film composers, you must know this Spitfire Audio is one of the best sample libraries company in the world. Yeah, I hope that I can really work there someday. <laughs> so that's all my tutorial today. If you guys find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and leave your thumbs up. And if you guys have any question about Ableton, you can ask me in the comment section down below. Thank you and see you in the next video. Spend the summer in this beach house